Ooh, it starts with a thing. Wow, that booted up quick. Hey, can I skip? Oh, I hold X. I'm a dumbass. How do I sound? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ready for the echo? One, two, three. Ready for the echo? Not bad. Demons souls. Demons souls. That's the sound of like an arcade version of the game. And you hit start, you're going, Demons souls. If this was like 1982 or something weird. I don't know why I chose that. Uh, let's create a character real quick. Body type A. How's it going? Starting class. Royalty, because I want magic. I want magic. Royalty gets magic. None of these gifts seem good. <laughs> um, maybe grass jelly. Uh, you know, providential ring could help me early on. Foundation. Define the overall foundation of your character. Vocals. Oh, that's just a dude's voice. <laughs> That's progressive, I guess, right? Isn't that... Am I allowed to make fun of that? I'm queer and trans. I'm allowed to make fun of a lot of things. That's the rule. A little bit of forward head bobbing. A little bit more backward relaxed. Uh, body type. Oh, this is just the difference between, like, the, the man and, and female body type. Appearance. Uh, skin. Um, let's go with a darker base tone. Age. What does that even really do? Oh, I see some lines. Oh, weird. Uh, what's it gonna make me look like? 30, 31, 32 ish? Uh, what if I just kept a baby face? I don't know if that's a baby face. Does the weight just really affect the face? Hard to tell. Tint. Is that skin still? It is. Cool. Da, 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 da. Oh, I thought because it was heads, it was going to be hair. So I started playing this game just a, a tad. Um, and then I was like, mm, you know, I could stream some of that. So. Oh, some of these jaws are. Powerful, powerful jobs. There's so many of them. Why are there? There's, there's a considerable amount of jaws. I'm never gonna see this character, right? Oh, I could go into big time detail though. Oh, that's always tempting. Brows. Want? Well, first off, hair. Want hair that doesn't suck oh well oh, i'm gonna immediately go with like anime pro tag here hell yeah and we're gonna make it like whitish because uh, i'm an anime pro tag which is which is great perfect nailed it tattoos any cool powerful tattoos oh senua's sacrifice ah uh, senua Mental health. I can't make fun of, of that game. I actually had a good time playing that game. <laughs> I just see tattoos sometimes and I go, oh, it's, oh, it's Senua's sacrifice. Clearly. I liked the level design in that game, which is to say that's not a game with levels very much, but like a series of various puzzles. And I think uh, the puzzles in that game are actually uh, pretty good. Eyes. Main color. 
we're just gonna do more anime shit, right? Like bright white anime eyes, right? They're like I'm a ranger from the town of blah blah blah. They're not a ranger, they're royalty. They should get a rapier, a buckler, and then some magic. Which magic is cool. King magic is very cool. The twelves. I need to find a way to have a uh, a mixer. Uh, did I just skip the tutorial? I don't know what I just did. Yeah, Hellblade had a lot of really cool things Brave going for it. I, 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 I don't know if, I, I suppose, I, I feel bad saying it because I think, is it, I think I shall Ninja guide Theory you to the Fisher. is also an Xbox game studio, right? And and I support all of our cool Xbox so games. Um, but I was surprised when there was an announcement for a, um, oh, this is the controller making noise. I was just surprised there was an announcement for a sequel because I thought that that story felt, um, Pretty self-contained. Not complaining, just more surprised. Magic. My wing guardian Leviosa stuff, and then all the controls should basically be the same. Hi, dummy. Hi. Oh, you don't need to attack. Uh, you're gonna hear my controller. You probably, I don't know how much you can hear my controller. Um, I like the PS5 controller a lot. It is secretly maybe my favorite thing about having a PS5 right now, besides the fact that I got a PS5. I have to admit one thing before we continue, and it's that I got this PS5 because I have a friend who I do Final Fantasy XIV rating with who resells PS5s, which is to say that he buys them when he can and then like you know sells them on ebay or whatever which you know folks can have mixed mixed feelings about that but he he was uh oh, it's very dark my screen is very dark um, but he helped me he was like they're gonna be at walmart soon and i was like thank you and and that's how that happened i didn't do anything untoward i just i just ordered it normal like a normal person through walmart but he was like gonna be uh, if he ever hears me do, the, do, do his voice, he's going to be mad at me. The same way that I think when I do my Tim Rogers voice, I feel I feel a little bit bad because I feel like maybe I upset Tim when I do that. But he was like, you're going to be at uh, Walmart in 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, cool. And I managed to get one, which was very exciting. I only partially parried there. I want to get an actual gun. Is there another enemy there? No. There we go. Oh, that animation. Lovely. Although, I think with this shield, right, because it's just a normal buckler, I'll still take occasional damage if I mess that up. So sometimes it might just be best to repost and everything. I could play this character very close to the uh, archetype as well. But, but, but what I was trying to say is the controller of the PS5 is very interesting in in the sense that it does um, the haptics are really unique like I played Astro Boy Playhouse or whatever <laughs> I forget what it's actually called and like when he walks on grass or like through grass it feels different than when he jumps in water and then which also feels different than like when he steps on glass, which is really weird. I was telling, who was I talking to the to about this? Um, I'm not, I'm not really old. I made a joke on Twitch that I, uh, I, I took a nap after work today because I am old in internet years, which means that I am in my thirties finally. Um, which means I'm ancient, right? My games are, are retro games now. Um, Wait, how do I? There we go. Uh, and, um, but you know, in my, in my, when I was growing up, games were, were in 2D. I remember growing up, my friend had a NES, which I was really jealous of. I didn't have one. I finally got a Genesis. That was cool. And I was telling somebody, I was explaining to someone 
what it felt like to go from like the Super Nintendo to actual 3D on 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 the Nintendo 64 or whatever. And the answer is oh ow. Ah ah. Um, is that I was like seven or eight or something, and I didn't fully understand depth, so I played. Uh, Mario 64. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to learn the game. Um, so I played Mario 64, and I remember walking into a wall a lot, trying to get into Princess Peach's castle. And my sister, she was older than me, right? She was in the double digits, the older sister. She was like, she didn't say it like this. Right? She said it like a child would, which would be like, why are you being such a dummy? But basically she was like, what the fuck is up? Um, and, and the answer was that like, for maybe 20 minutes of playing Super Mario 64 for the first time, I did not fully understand how depth worked. Um, which when I explain that now, maybe I explain that on a stream. I thought it was very funny because it, it makes, when I, when I say that, I, I now understand um, what it was, what it must have been like for those weirdos who saw, um, that, uh, that mo movie, the first film of a train going towards the screen, and they were all like, we're gonna get hit by a train! This train's gonna hit us! It's real! Run away! And I'm like, those people seem like ridiculous fools. And yet, when I was like eight years old, I was like, what is spatial depth? Um, even though every day I woke up and went to school and walked down hallways, like anyone does every day, even uh, up to and including now, um, sort of. I'm just messing with parries. Um, Right, I remember that being very funny to me. And now look at me, I'm a, I'm a gamer. Uh, I'm a gamer on a system that does like quick resume. I booted up, I so I hadn't touched my PS5 in days because I was um, doing some writing over the weekend, which I plugged on Twitter like a idiot, like a shill. Um, I did a, I did a Valentine's Day, like, romance fanfiction writing challenge. I wrote something in, like, two days. Got some art commissioned, too. Um, the artist, uh, was very kind. Um, and I was like, hey, I have a project that I really want to get done in, like, two days. Are you down? And they were like, yeah. Um, and then I was in Final Fantasy XIV doing, like, uh, Raid Prog and stuff. And so I hadn't been playing for a while. And when I booted this up tonight to be like, I might stream a little bit. It was like, do you want to immediately start Assassin's Creed Valhalla from where you were like last week? And I was like, no, but it's very amazing that you can let me do that. Um, I'll stop singing the praises of the PS5 uh, before Phil Spencer, who does follow me on Twitter and who is some form of my boss goes, why aren't you playing on an Xbox Series X? And the answer is, I don't know, this is just what I could find. Um, please uh, enjoy Psychonauts 2 coming to the Xbox Series X with Xbox Series X enhancements, and then also backwards compatible on the PS5 sometime this year, uh, hopefully earlier, then later. That's not me giving anyone a hint for a date. That's me saying, I don't know, a pandemic is going on and the last thing I want is like some weird situation where they're like, actually, we have to delay until forever. Um, but I work at a game studio now. We're gonna release a game this year. And that's fucking cool. Oh, what are you doing? You hit me with your, oh. I was mocking them. And they, well, I mean, presumably backwards compatible on, on PS5, right? Because we, ha we have a PS4 version that we're committed to make because of our 
FIG campaign. We're committed to make PC, um, uh, Xbox, like like the last gen Xbox and PS4. And so presumably, I have to imagine that you could play it on your PS5, right? Um, because basically a deep feature of the PS5 is backwards compatibility for basically everything. Um, right? Like, there are games I have now that are in my PS4 library that the PS5 was like, do you want to download these and play these? And I'm like, on the PS5? And they're like, yeah, on the PS5. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, because I'm on the stairs. I can't really do my repost. You bastards. Oh, that guy has a crossbow that he's getting to do with. Notice that I haven't used any of my magic. Yeah, I, I, I don't mean like it's a big feature or anything. I mean, I think pretty much everything should end up being vaguely... Uh, how do I jump in this game? Is it the same as... How do I jump in this game? Can you? It looks like I could go over there, but I can't. That seems like a bad idea. Um, it seems like most things are backwards compatible um, on both of the consoles uh, for, for, for things. Just working out my parry timings. Something about that one was weird. I feel like I'm taking damage while I do it. I'm just learning. There's no jump in this ver in this. I guess that's a that's a Dark Souls situation. All my friends are playing Neo 2 right now because the complete edition came out. And I have already played Neo 2 because I reviewed it when it came out. I oh, oh gosh, I remember reviewing Neo 2 and being and moving through it at a pretty good pace, but I remember what is that dude? Um you know that dude who just has like full playthroughs on his channels, like Xanar Aesthetics or whatever? He was originally something else, and he, he got into a little bit of controversy because he made that video of Arthur Morgan punching like a suffragette <laughs> or something. He was always one step ahead of me, that person. Um, when you review games, it's, it's kind of funny because you end up seeing like YouTubers and other people you know. I remember seeing young yeah a lot in uh, uh, this seems like a bad idea uh lock on can i uh the law uh, uh. i didn't lock on i messed it up i probably could have beat that thing too that's fine you're not really supposed to survive that Of the lost yeah, but then they rebrand it, vessel. right? I think they're the same Death channel. Be so the I could be wrong. Be no, no, I don't know. I, no, I don't think it was the same the th the thing that you're talking vessel. about. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not as so plugged in into the internet anymore. Mended. I can't believe I died there. That was really embarrassing. I thought I could lock on. I probably should have just not locked on and just stayed at uh, at the demon's butt and and hit it with my sh uh, sharp sword, and I would have been fine. This is the How is everyone nexus. tonight? Who sent me? Who sent me a message? together the northern land of Boletaria. Oh, artist. <laughs> But because I commissioned art, a lot of people sent me art, the five arch but the, because, <clears throat> excuse me for a minute, uh, because I'm verified on Twitter, sometimes when things get uh, sent to me through uh, DMs, they get filtered into folders that I don't see, and then like sometimes I don't see something for a week. So I've been meaning to go back to a lot of the artists who sent me things like, hey, uh, I'm interested in doing this project, and just like getting back to them and being like, sorry, the project already occurred. Um, would love to work with you in the future. I did that with somebody. I, somebody sent art samples. And they were really good. And I said, hey, um, in the very near future, I would love to just, like, commission you for, like, character artwork or something. It's great. Um, but but I feel a little, a little bad. So I guess that person was just like, I'm here. What is the fragrant ring? 
MP over time? That's... I like that. That's good for me. I... That's a good character build. Oh, is this guy gonna do one of those patented uh, Dark Souls things where he's like, Welcome to the Nexus, stranger. <laughs> and he just laughs at me. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, I would love you? to be a voice actor. You came for demon souls. You came oh, for demon this souls. Land and be remembered as a hero. Be remembered as a hero. There, there it is. He did the thing. Hunting for demons? Mm. Try one of the arch stones. My favorite now voice go. actor in any that of the games, by the way, is, is the fact that they it have Peter Serenefowitz. Serenefowitz as um as mild mannered pate in uh dark souls 2 oh my gosh what a great casting promise. choice that was first off mild mannered pate good character dark souls 2 my favorite dark souls thematically the I best one the lord vessel hey, is a broken plate matches. in someone's basement and that's gorgeous my that game is fen phenomenal um i like all the dark souls i think in retrospect the one that i le like the least is three even though it has i wrote an article about it it has one of my favorite boss fights in the series which is basically just a reprise of what I they do in this game with the old bunk um, which is spear the spear the church where you fight another player as the boss. And look after any but because the end of that DLC is like... Oh, do I get any DLC items? I don't know. Um, but because of the end of that series is like this big mishmash where the entire worlds uh, and histories of Dark Souls are converging, I thought, it was, I thought it was really cool and like thematically significant to have a battle against... Uh, another player one more time. Uh, thank you for updating Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I kind of like that more than I like even the fight against um, Painter Dude. This is Ball's area. Painter Dude? That's not his name. Um, Artorius 3.0. That's not his name either. No, I'm just joking. That is a good uh, final boss fight. Yeah, Gale. Slave Knight Gale. Um, Ashes of Ariandel, a little disappointing of a DLC, all things considered. Um, uh, something City, Ring City, or whatever, actually kind of good. So, uh, one for two ain't bad. The, the downside to that is all of the DLC for Dark Souls 2 is not only good, but it's actually better than... <laughs> The base game. Yeah, the Sister Frida fight is very good. Um, as, as, as a general rule of thumb. Oh, I didn't mean to... I hit X too quick. But thankfully, load times? What the heck are those? The Sister Frida fight is very fun because you... When you realize that there's a third phase, you're like, I've done it! There's no more ways for them to trick me. And they're like, what if we made you fight even more motherfucker and you're like i don't know if that's legal and the game's like we will make it legal and then they do oh i have my friggin magic equipped oh my repost was ruined magic 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 in this game feels very good by the way just like a simple little soul arrow spell feels really cool um, both haptically on your controller. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to eat my thing. Um, what's this? Someone's... I'll stop for a second. Hey, Heather, I hope you're doing well. I'm okay. Uh, last month, I was really depressed. There's my actual answer. Last month was really hard. Writing was very hard. Because uh, the world was fucking weird. happens at the capital and everything made me like very upset uh and th just in general the world like the pandemic hit me but i'm feeling better now i wrote a thing i feel encouraged i want to do more writing i'm in a raid group in ff14 very fun uh i i, I i've not played any souls games before closest might be jedi fallen order which is jank at launch yes it was but respawn's such a good company 
Would this be a good starting point if I can pick up a PS5? I suppose so. I would say now, though, I mean, I feel like you must be able to get Dark Souls on PC pretty cheaply. I, I would say if you have a Nintendo Switch, the remaster version on the Switch is totally fine. Like, it's, it's very good. Magic. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, that was the worst parry in the history of the world. I'm just still learning some of the times. Um, I uh, keep on eating items without meaning to. What the freaking heck is wrong with me? That's stupid. Um, Dark Souls on PC is notoriously janky. Is, isn't the remastered version just a little bit better now, though? I mean, you probably can deal with hackers, but... What's Dark Souls without occasionally running into a hacker in PvP? That's part of the experience. The same way that, like, bad frame rate in Blight Town is part of the experience. And, oh god, I said that once? Uh, people were like, what are you talking about? And I've, I've tried to explain very often that frame rate... Is it? Uh, Frame rate is an important tool the same way that it is in a movie. Uh, I can't get that time going on a rant. I think games can use frame rate in cool ways. Um, I think games should use frame rate in cool ways. And a thing that's disappointing to me is the way that like our, our deeply intense... Um, A need for like the most advanced technology in the world it means that anytime something's not running at 60 or like I know some people who play games they're like man this thing is below 200 FPS fucking bullshit and I'm like your eyes can't even perceive that buddy what are you talking about um I don't know I wish that games used technical limitations in more interesting ways I thought Blight Blight Town is such a case study in that um, that seeing Blight Town at a smooth frame rate in a remastered version was like very cool, but obviously also changed something um, like undeniably changed something about what uh, what Blight Town felt like to play. You know. Um, Right, there's something interesting about a place in a game that is uh, so um, so like ragged and worn down that it, that your game is struggling to. Um, somebody asks, doesn't Cuphead have a lower frame rate? Maybe, I mean, maybe it has a frame rate that's closer to like movie frame rates, which, which would be like 24 frames. I don't remember. Cuphead, my experience with Cuphead is a blur. There's got to be like a dude right there, yeah. I've played a Dark Souls game before. Don't you friggin' dare. Um, um, uh, Cuphead might. My experience with Cuphead is a blur. I had like a day and a half, maybe to play and review Cuphead. I did not release my Cuphead review at Embargo. Uh, Steven Totillo, who, uh, uh, I'm, I don't wanna get into many conversations about all sorts of stuff that people might wanna get into conversations with. My, my personal life is personal. Um, I will say, uh, for the record, I think that the way that everything happened with Natalie Lawhead uh, was unacceptable, um, <laughs> deeply deeply unacceptable um, but I will say that uh, for Cuphead I went to Steven and I said uh, I'm not going to write a review in like two hours it will suck uh, let's be a normal workplace and just write a review for like the afternoon and it turned out to be fine. It turns out that 
um, sometimes like embargoes, you know, and that was a Microsoft embargo, uh, which they th we just didn't get that code very quickly. And that's, that's not a long game. That game's like maybe eight hours or something. Um, but it's like you're grinding out a game. Um, and you, if you're writing a review in like an hour or something, your review's gonna fucking suck. So, one thing I will say about my former place of work is that every now and then there were times where, at least as a workplace environment, we were able to say, let's, um, let's not like overwork ourselves in weird ways. Um, was the Cuphead embargo particularly shitty compared to others? No, it it wasn't. It wasn't a matter of like an of embar of a, like an embargo that was shitty. Um, I say this now. It's so funny saying this now because I think some of the people who helped uh, with that are, are people who I know. So you know, I'm, I'm being careful, but I'm being honest, right? I, I like to think that I have a reputation for being at least an honest person. Um, it's that we just didn't get the code very early. Like, if I had, like, an extra day to, um, to play that game, like, it would have been better, right? Like, playing a game in what's basically half a day, a game that is supposedly going to be renowned for its difficulty, I would have liked to have had it, like, three or four days in advance. Um, and even that's, like, really, I... As a journalist, you want to get it like a week or so in advance, which doesn't always happen. Cuphead was one where the turnaround was really, really tight. I just remember it being um, particularly ah that fire confused me. I just remember it being particularly tight. Um, which is like it just is what it is. It's not a um. Just a reality of working in that space, right? Um, I think, I think in some ways, oh, that guy's gone. I think in some ways, uh, some companies that were doing a really good job with embargoes have fallen a bit on the wayside. I remember for, I think it was, I think it was for Persona 5 reviewers had like a month and a half or something, which was incredible. Um, that was super smart. Um, Sega Atlas did a really good thing there and gave people a ton of time for a game that was huge. That game is like, even if you're not playing intensely, that game is like, oh, I thought it was an enemy. That game's what, like 80 hours? Imagine if you had a week to do that. In fact, I don't need to imagine, because that's basically what I had. I'm, I'm, no, maybe I had like a week and a half for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is also a game, which was a game so big that I sent questions to Ubisoft asking, um, and I put it in my review, and some people got very mad at me that I even did it. I said, hey, tell me about your production process. This seems massive and I don't know how you sustainably did it um and the real answer is mostly that uh Ubisoft games are made by like 7,000 people whereas like for context Double Fine is a studio of like maybe 72 people so there you go and we're making Psychonauts 2 which is a, a pretty damn big game um you know, so that's just that's just how that goes. Um, I, but but even then, I think I, as I understand it, people did not get as much time uh, this time around for um, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, I feel like people had less time for that, which is a bit a bit of a bummer because that's still also a big game. It's a big RPG, uh, so you know. Uh, would have been cool. 
how did I, I can't believe that actually hit me. I think it would have been cool for people that maybe have a little bit more time there. But I also think that Sega Atlas is a company that generally done a good job with their embargoes and giving people stuff what they need uh, with a with, uh, good lead time. This is going to lead me to the Red Eye Knight, isn't it? Right? I don't know if I want to do that right now. Oh, it's really fucking tempting, though. But here's the thing. I haven't unlocked any shortcuts. So if I die here, as I am wont to do... Oh, oh, there... Oh, oh, Lord, he coming! He's coming! Can red eye uh, nice deep? Oh, they hit so hard! He hit so hard! Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead! Oh, I did. Half moon grass. He's charging right at me! How do I parry a lance? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Whatever. We'll just go through it again. Um, what was I trying to say? No, so Cuphead wasn't a case of like, oh, the embargo is really bad. It was a case of just, I wish I had the code sooner, which is a normal impulse. Impulse, I think. You know, I did that interview with Defector, which also people were mad at me for doing that, by the way. Um, because people were very mad at Albert um, for his article, which, to be fair, I think Albert, um, if I can talk about Albert as a you know, former co-worker, um, I wish that maybe he had reached out to some people that he knew, because he worked, you know, he, he, I have to imagine Albert could have very easily reached out to someone like Jason, or or anyone, and maybe got me a little bit more conscious about game reviews, and that would have helped me a lot. But it was very fortunate, I think. It was very, um... I, I was very happy that uh, Albert and, and Samir had um, said, hey, we want to talk to someone about this. Um, and we saw that you were criticizing us, and so we will you talk to us about it, which I think was uh, cool. Um, I thought that was a decent interview. Uh, they let me ramble a lot, uh, which is a thing I'm very good at. Right. Um, but I know some people who were very upset that I did that. I thought it was a chance to use a platform in a way that I felt was responsible. Um, as somebody who has at times, I think, seen platforms used uh, I believe irresponsibly. Um, I think that when I was given that opportunity, I, I wanted to use it in a way that gave people um, useful context, uh, especially considering how charged the conversation around cyberpunk is starting to become. Um, because I think that that cyberpunk conversation had a chance to turn into something way more nasty more nasty than it probably even became right that had the making of um you know under certain circumstances some real kind of gamergate stuff right um i, I think that's just true yeah i, I should see i should, should have opened up this shortcut before i tried to fight the red eye knight um You know, uh, so so I hope I did okay there. Um, in general, I hope I've done okay in 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 all of my work. There have been a couple times where I think I've let people down, um, but but I, I tried to do my best. Um, a thing that was difficult that I wish people understood a little bit more is that um, outlets are not monoliths. Uh, writers, like there were things that happened while I was at Kotaku that I did not think out about until, like, after I came out a, a stream with Paul, right? Like, 
I would be doing something with Tim. Or, you know, I, I would be s streaming something with Tim for two hours, and I would come out, and something will have, you know, would have happened. Um, and sometimes that was like a, a gamer, a gamer thingy. That was just like gamers being mad about weird stuff. And sometimes that was actual mistakes, upsetting mistakes. Um, right. Uh, working at a place like that was complicated. I am very thankful that I had a place where I could write the things that I wrote. Um, right, I, I, I was very fortunate. I don't think trans writers always get the chance to be anything other than trans writers. And that was still something that happened from time to time in my own writing, where it was like, hey, you know, like, um, you know, don't nod when they made, when they announced um, their most recent game. Guess who wrote about the announcement? Right? It was me. <laughs> and, and uh, certainly, I don't think the reason that uh, I wrote about that announcement was because I just happened to be the person who could write about that announcement. I think I wrote, I, I was the one who wrote about that announcement because I was the trans writer on stuff. Right? Um, that's just how it is. Um, but I also got to write the Metal Gear stuff. I got to write, you know, under the right circumstances, the, um, the death screen and things like that um because i got to work with people like maddie that's what with people like natalie de graf and reed natalie de graf and reed who uh, tried so hard to make um to make that place like a, a a much better place to work at um and i reiterate what i said before uh everything that happened with natalie in my head was I've had trouble talking about it because I don't know, I don't know what, what I'm able to, to do, and, I, and I'll leave it at that. Um, that's what I will. That's what I will say in terms of. I have left, uh, and I didn't just leave because of Spanfeller, uh, right? And here I'm adjusting the volume a little bit. And I had moved on to my own thing, and it's, uh, I, my body, my brain had been burnt out. It still is, in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, I'm still completely and utterly uh, burnt out, worn down, um, and run ragged by just the process of video games journalism. Um, so which answers the question that somebody asked before of, of whether or not I'm happier now, and the answer is broadly yes. Um, the work I do now is different, um, and some of those adaptations to those differences has been interesting, um, in the sense that, you know, in, in some of what I do uh, dovetails with PR, which is something that, you know, it's not really an area of expertise of mine. Um, I'd much rather just make funny videos for the studio or, like, write fun blog posts or things. And, you know, Tim and the others are mostly content to let me do that. But, you know, I am in meetings with Microsoft people when we discuss, like, hey, what, about, what, are, what are our marketing plans for blah 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 i am i am in the room for those sorts of discussions because part of my job means that i help coordinate contact with the public um right which is um you know a, a different side of things uh, but my job also means that like i get to help out with some really cool stuff um i only arrive in time to help uh, choose submissions, but I was able to help out with Day of the Devs, which shows off, you know, um, uh, you know games from uh, different indie designers. Oh, he put up a shield. 
I feel like this guy here with his little shield and spear might be a way to teach you how to deal with the Red Eye Knight. I'm not going to deal with him right now. Um, and I'll be able to help out more with Day of the Devs this next time, whenever that is. So, you know, some things about my job are different. Um, I miss writing. I'm doing the Skies of Arcadia thing. I did the flash fiction thing. That's nice. It fills something in me. There is an insatiable part um, of something uh, inside my heart that uh, every single moment of my life as I am writing, I am, I am trying desperately to, to take that and put it onto a page, and I have consistently failed. Uh, none of my writing that I have done has ever felt good enough. Um, none of the writing that, that, I, that I, I've, I've tried to do about the things that I deem important have, I think, captured the, the truth that I feel about those things. So, for instance, when I do write about Skies of Arcadia, which people are sick of me hearing, but also when I write about certain things about game, you know, games criticism. Um, uh, because ultimately the lesson that you learn as a writer which is a, a humbling lesson and a, a very necessary lesson is that the words that we use are, un are, are ultimately um, too small for the truths that we feel or the truths that we experience um right like not to get too philosophical we have a word like love but that word is so deeply um, insufficient for capturing what love might feel like in someone's heart right but we say it as a shorthand to help people understand what that person is experiencing but the truth that exist underneath those words is far larger than the word can ever express. The same way that uh, when people write about nostalgia, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, there's, you know, the writings that are explicitly nostalgia driven fail to capture um, both. Oh, Jesus. You know, I was like, that's a backstab for sure. Um, both the love that somebody feels for, for, for a thing, and then also like the pain that somebody feels for, you know, in, in nostalgia, because nostalgia is a, is a type of pain as much as it is a type of love, um, right? Nostalgia is this feeling of loss, of, of incompleteness. Um, and, and how do you capture that in words? Well, you can try. Uh, uh, there's um, there's a line I like in the play Our Town. Uh, there's a scene near the end of the uh, of the play. For those of you who don't know, Our Town is a play set in one town. Follows a bunch of characters. There's a town called Grover's Corners. I might be getting that wrong. Um, it is in like northern New Hampshire, uh, and there's a character in it. Her name is Emily. Uh, we see Emily throughout her life, and and uh, at the end we see Emily when when she is dead. And one of the main characters in in our town is essentially the stage manager, um, and she says to the stage manager about life. She says to him. Um, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, uh, 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 you know, no, no one understands it. Like, like how, what, what they have while they still have it, right? Like how beautiful it is. And the line that he says, right. And people can have all sorts of problems with our town. I think I see someone in chat who doesn't like our town. That's fine. Um, but the line he says is that some do saints and poets, maybe. Um, and, uh, you know, I tend to agree with that. <laughs> Uh, most people, uh, most writers, uh, whether they're games writers or critics or even uh, fiction writers, right? Like, they don't uh, quite have the words to express the totality of life. Um, 
right? Like, uh, but some people have, and those people are amazing. Uh, uh, I'm not one of those people. Uh, the, like, there's been like 12 of those people in all of human history. Uh, but you know, uh, that means instead of me trying to have to puzzle out uh, the depths of XYZ thing, I can write a novelization of Skies of Arcadia and feel some uh, fulfillment in my soul instead of trying to write, like, philosophy. <laughs> uh, right? My thanks um, for your brave rescue. And what I feel I from doing that is probably just as good as, like, Except this as a token of my gratitude. Aquinas doing whatever the fuck Aquinas was doing before, you know. Well, we know Aquinas was like, for a while, he was like fucking and like partying. And then he became devout. So like either version of Aquinas, you know, I know which, I know which version of, of Aquinas I would rather like go to a bar with. And it's the one who actually went to bars. Um, but you know, the, the, the line I remember uh, from our town, Jesus Christ, uh, is that line is uh, some do saints and poets maybe uh, which I, I I genuinely believe is the case <laughs> what is what is up with this uh, this deep intense our town dislike in, uh, in my chat do uh, do you have a deep uh, beef with Thornton Wilder is that what that is um. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, he's getting messed up. I have to save my friend. Dude, why do you get so messed up? Oh. Okay, so he's going over there. Yeah. Good line, though. Five star line. You're right. Um. How do I get that item over there? Can I just climb? Oh no, there's an opening there, because I'm an idiot. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about our town. I don't think it's a brilliant play. I think it is a play that exists, and that is fine, and that most high schools do a production of, and those productions are okay. It lets some people... Uh, if somebody mentions a high school production, just as I say, high school productions. Um, it lets some actors uh, cut their teeth on stuff. Um, if you're from New Hampshire, like I am, uh, some folks really like that play. Though. They're like, ah, our town. And you're like, yeah, got it. Um, let me see if I can save my friend with firebombs. Oh yeah, that was like if that if I was in an anime, everybody would be like, I can't believe she did that. Oh, her tactical mind is oh fuckers. That was like my Lelouch v Britannia moment. Code Geass, as if that's like a real good tactical. Ah uh, yes, famous, uh, very good tactical series Code Geass. I mean, our town is, our town is a good f thing on paper in the same way that like Angels in America is good on paper. And then everybody tries to do their own version of Angels in America and everyone's version of Angels in America sucks, right? Like the right, like the monologues and the writing of Angels in America totally good um but you know that college version that you had to see uh, back in the in the day maybe not as good fuck you there we go it wasn't letting me lock on um you know Hey, can you stop just like saying like, hey, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this in my chat? Uh, nothing, nothing personal against you. Uh, uh, that's a, that's a mood that I don't have time for tonight. Of like, yo, fuck this, 
Fuck Thornton Wilder. Fuck Code Diaz. We can dunk on things, but let's let's be a little bit let's let's be a little bit less uh uh, uh dip dippy about it if that's okay. Because some people in chat might even like those things. You know what sucks? Here's something I'll say sucks, and if my friends hear this and they want to talk to me about it later, they sure as hell can. I hate when all my friends bitch about Final Fantasy XIV and do all these things where they're like, Oh, I can't fucking stand Final Fantasy XIV can't fucking stand people who like it and i'm like yo i'm right here i i believe i'm a good taste haver i think it's a good game and anytime i hear you talk about it you're just mad you're just constantly mad and it's like dude i that that doesn't affect my love of the thing but it does suck to be around the energy of people who are like Oh, I can't believe anybody who says that Shadowbringers is, like, a good fucking thing. Um, life is way too short. Life is so short. I, I take it, let me, let me tell you. Life, life is just... I, I, I blinked. I blinked, and I'm in my 30s. I, I, I'm, I'm an aunt now do you understand there there's a child in the world that i am partially responsible for uh whose whose happiness and security i have to protect with every fiber of my goddamn being get down ow ow I'm just burnt out by people who are like grumpy about everything because I don't think being grumpy is actually a personality trait <laughs> it's not uh, it is uh, we, we, we clown on like the weird alt-right people who friggin screenshot everything or like do XYZ thing, and then we have plenty of people who are also just like, gah, bah, gah, bah, bah. Oh, this is gonna murder me! 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 Oh my god, I survived. Oh. Anyway, anyway, I guess that's a that's tying into a, a broader point of things. I don't know. Uh, there's some there's some very good people in my life, people who I think are some of the best people, who also. Uh, don't realize that sometimes the way that they talk about certain things uh, makes me feel incredibly sad. Um, and it's hurtful. Uh, and I guess I should say like a grown adult, hey, that's hurtful. But what, what do I know about anything? I'm an idiot. Which I guess is my way of saying it's okay to not like Thornton Wilder. Or to not like Code Geass. A series which is, you know, kind of incredibly stupid. But also, you know, energy can go some other places. This has to be a dragon bridge. Jesus Christ, they hit me so hard. My, my, like, endurance stat must be, like, the worst thing in the history of the planet. That has to be a bridge where a dragon swoops down. There's no earthly way in hell that this is not a bridge where I'm supposed to, like... Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I hear a dragon straight up here dragon have i played demon souls before no i actually haven't murder them 
bastard. Alright, so I actually haven't played Demon Souls before. Um, but I've played uh, every other FromSoft game. So, ah, oh, 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 that's awesome. Ah, oh, I want to fight them, but it's the dumbest idea I could ever have. They're so cool. I mean, like, I know, I know certain areas in this game, right? Like, I know there is a place that is Blight Town adjacent, uh, and the gutter adjacent, right? Um, I know those are just things. Uh, I need to run through this bridge incredibly fast, starting, uh, the fuck now! Ah! Uh! Ah, oh, there's so many dudes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Are they dead? Oh, they're still coming. No, there's so many bad guys. No, oh, fire. Oh, there's fire on me. Ah. Oh. Oh my, oh my, sweet baby lord. Ah, oh, don't do this to me. I was made for this moment. I am a golden god. I studied at Hogwarts, even though JK Rowling is a transphobic piece of shit. Oh boy. Oh, you know, let's just take a moment. I'm gonna sip this uh, diet Snapple peach tea. Oh boy, this has been an evening. I've said some serious things, I've said some philosophical things, and then I also just let my bad voice come out again where I was like, oh, I clearly used to be a dude. So. You know, good stream. Is this gonna get me to the boss? Furthermore, friends, I have I have actually a significant question. I have in my possession uh, a, a a fair amount of uh, what we would call souls. Oh, it's phalanx. That's cool. Mm. Um. I should probably go back to the Nexus and level up, yes? That seems like the most prudent thing to do. I see movement there. Oh, it's, a, it's like a ghost. Oh, you fucker! Oh, oh heck yeah, secret, secret side room of stuff. I... Oh, what the fucking... Who are you? Where'd you come from? I am wasting grass. I can't go back to the Nexus and do that, unfortunately, yet. So I'll just go and fight Phalanx. I have fire bombs and pine resin. Whoa, look at that. That's some cool shit. No, that's not fair! Oh my sweet goodness gracious. It's not fair that these enemies can just have a, a, an ass load of fire bombs. That's not cool. Uh, to be fair, I have a fair amount of fire bombs. So I can't complain entirely, but also, hmm. Well, this looks like a job for Hogwarts. Okay, so I, 
I didn't get top marks at Hogwarts, uh, as you can tell. So there's that. that there's going to be a Harry Potter video game. How do you think that's going to be? That's going to be a weird, a weird thing. Ah, a preview of what's to come. They're gonna, it's gonna be like a, 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 a RPG, right? Like an open worldy type of like, you must gather your party before fighting Voldemort. Probably not that, uh, but it could be that. Oh, that's like a reminder that I just kinda, first off, don't wanna die to this clown. And secondly, I could I could probably just There's a part of me that's like, hmm. You know, be, you know what would be kind of fun? Just like playing Pillars of Eternity or something. But I've been trying to play all sorts of stuff. I'm actually restarting my um, I'm actually going to restart my Yakuza like a dragon playthrough now that I have the PS5 cuz I actually wasn't that far in it. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, without even having finished that game, game of the year of last year. What an amazing game. What a, what an astounding, super good game. Ichiban and Kazuga, love you. Um, what a game with such empathy for its characters. Dear goodness. Uh, a, a deep, genuine all abiding sense of love for that game. Really, really like it. What's a noble lotus do? Let's find out what some of these items do. Counteracts poison. Well, we don't need you right now. Can I unequip you? Equip you? Unequip. Well, I don't want you equipped on the thing right now. Oh, that's why. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Stops bleeding. This, this should be fine. I wish I had a little bit more, more grass, but you know, I got magic, I got fire bombs, I got pine resin. Let's fucking, let's fucking do it. Right? Like, Oh, dude, I was fucking born for this. Are you kidding me? Do have magic. And now I just Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, fuck you. Ah! Oh, there's more uh, more oh there, there's like weebs and they're all trying to tell me that I should watch more friggin whatever oh my goodness oh that gets rid of my pine resin if i do that though because i'm a dumbass okay well da, 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 da. Da, na, 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 na. just wait for your openings heather you've played bloodborne and other such from soft titles. You know, I, I've been thinking about it. I 
I feel like playing Bloodborne again would feel really exhausting. Oh, I died. I'm shocked. Oh, the lack of firebombs is going to be a bummer. I got greedy. That's fine. I still have pine resin. I got too excited talking about Bloodborne. Stop hitting me! That sucks. The lack of firebombs are a total bummer. Um. Yeah, I guess the thing with, um. With Bloodborne is. I certainly right now do not have the frame of mind to play a game of like oh the blood plague has come swept the land I would go I, I would not I would I would, I would not handle that well I would just be like ugh do not need to know about your blood plague right now. Stop hitting me, man. Oh my god. I can't die before I get to the boss fight. That would be the most annoying and embarrassing thing. So, the plan's gonna change a little bit to using a lot of magic, I think. And then pine resin on the boss itself. I ha I was tossing those fire bombs really well. I feel uh, uh, rather embarrassed about about dying. Um, you know. It it happens, Master Wayne. Sometimes people die, Master Wayne, when they play Demon souls. Thank you, Alfred. That makes me feel better. Of course, Master Wayne. Not everyone beats Phalanx on their first try. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. That makes me feel so much better already. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? Uh, I don't know, Alfred. Uh, so, we can... Pick ourselves up. Thank you, Alex. Feel. I feel a lot better. Also, I'm just gonna zap so many of these fuckers with magic. I do it until I run out of magic. This feels like cheating. Uh, but, you know. It's not cheating. It's DiGiorno. Wait, how are all of you over there? Does just more of them come? That's so many of you. That's far too many of you. That's not. <laughs> That's an unacceptable amount of Phalanx Buds. What? I thought I beat the crap out of all of y'all. Ah. I don't have anything that regenerates my spice. My spice? Is this not what it's called when the the item that gives you more magic? They're like spices. Delicious spices. Some people get overwhelmed by the amount of phalanx buds, Master Wayne. Not even Batman can fight a thousand phalanx buds. Thank you, Alfred. You're right. It's a lot of phalanx buds. And, and, and you know, in, in some ways, 
a little intimidating. They're reforming. They're reforming into their phalanxy shape. I'm running out of grass, man. It's it it is spice. I'm gonna be the Quitsoc whatever the fuck. Quitsoc Sotrock. I'm running out of my fire papers, Sekiro. You've left an opening! Fuck. So many of them were stabbing me right there. That was, that was a, a legitimate amount of phalanx buds. Stabbing me. Why are you... Why are there so many of you phalanx buds? They don't drop items either. Whoa! You can heal? That's not fair. I mean, I'll beat this fight eventually. You're a detached phalanx, bud. Fuck, I don't have brass. Ow. Ah. Oh, that's uh, that's just a random failing. Do I have any good items? This might be a huge disaster. It was a, not a good idea for me to pop. <laughs> uh, I do have magic. I might go back to the Nexus, pop a couple of my souls, go back in there with the fire bombs and get it done. There's there's probably some people commenting on YouTube where I'll probably post this much uh, to, you know, that, I don't know, that seems like a mistake, but I'll probably do it. Uh, and, and, and they'll go, you couldn't, you couldn't first try Phalanx? And I'll go, I don't know, dude, it's like midnight and I'm tired. Um, you know, that's just how it is. Let's go back to the Nexus and you'll buy some grass. My, I, why am I? So the reason I'm doing my bad Michael Caine impression is because um, I know someone whose last name I believe is actually Pennyworth. So, you know. That's fun. Mm. Hey, bud. You name it. Trade your souls. Oh, I could upgrade my weapon. No, interesting. I can tell you're not going to last long here. Friends, we're going to consume all our souls, which will be. Really funny if we die. Uh, oh, good day to you. I would laugh. I would laugh a lot. Purchase items. Fresh spice. Do you not have a fire bomb to sell me? Does nobody sell fire bombs here? This is just the inventory. 
I would be happy to lighten your load. Inventory guy. Best what do I have? Team. Actually, what do I have for rings? Could cling ring it. Might be the way. Nobody sell fire bombs? I'm not gonna farm them. I'm just gonna oh, upgrade my weapon. Just lucky it's me. Right, I'm just gonna upgrade my rapier. I don't have the materials. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm gonna buy a significant amount of grass. And like a little bit of spice. And actually just more grass. Do come back alive. And what's gonna happen now, Master Wayne? I don't know. I got a lot of grass. Got a lot of magic spells. There's a vendor in Boletaria. Well he didn't put up a sign that says like Wacky Wednesdays Firebomb Emporium. So fuck that guy. <laughs> Phalanx is an interesting first boss for like a Souls game. I wonder what like the impetus there is. I mean, I could suss it out. I mean, some of it is very clearly to teach players not to use the lock-on feature exclusively, right? It's about teaching players to like run around freely. Um. And that's good. And it's definitely like an item, like if you have the item to use it situation. I can't believe I botched it after using those firebombs so well. I was throwing those firebombs like I was a gosh darn speedrunner. I was, I was doing great. I'm not even gonna try and carry these coins. I'm gonna just play it really careful. Um, I'm hoping that one of the dudes with the fire swords drops some resin to help me out. Ow. Ah. That's not cool. And my rapier will do a little bit more damage. I'm just gonna probably play with a rapier for like a big portion of the game. Hey, some more crescent moon grass, Master Wayne. Thank you, Alfred. That's gonna be a firebomb or something, like pine resin. It's dudes with fire on them that give stuff that cause fire. Uh, that's what we call game design. Um, which means that if I go, uh, first off, what is this? What are you? Oh, after I cut down the thing. Hmm. I understand. So now the goal here is ah ow that's not fair the fuck you're making me use my grass there's so many of you none of you are dropping shit oh, heartbreaking but i will have magic like a lot more magic in theory, for some of this sh shit here. They're more like fire based enemies up here at all. Yeah, maybe like one or two. Yeah, you might drop like another firebomb or something. A broken sword. Alright, whatever. This is what we got, so this is what we're gonna use. Um, I hope everything I've said today has, has has made sense, has not disappointed anybody, and and has led to a mostly good stream. I'm feeling, you know, a little chagrined, a little chagrined that I died in that first boss fight. But uh, uh, contrary to what they tell you in um, uh, Wall Street movies, greed is not good. Greed is just 
not that great. Fuck you. The worst fireball. Congratulations, Master Wayne. Yep, yeah, fucked it up. Oh, there's just dudes! There's just... Oh, there's just dudes! This is the dumbest way to defeat this uh, boss. I am the Dune person with all my spice. It's great. This genuinely feels like that. Eventually, these fellas are going to overwhelm me, though, so I need to. Make some moves away from them. <laughs> evil. It's like an evil way to do it. How'd you beat that boss? Oh, I cheesed it by spamming magic spells and sniffing a lot of drugs. Congratulations, Heather. You did it. Can I go to the Nexus and upgrade my character now? Can I can I now go to the Maiden and be like, level up my stats? Did I just leave without grabbing my souls? Oh boy. I wonder if they're going to still be there. I meant to back out. Welcome back. Oh well. The monumental awaits the above. What is so my question I, I have a question. Mostly for FromSoft. But what's up with what, what, why is it that, like, the Maiden and then also the doll from the Bloodborne, they all have, the like, these highly specific accents? Which is not me saying that they all need to sound like Americans, because that would be stupid. But what I mean is they all very much sound like they're talking to you, dear hunter. And, uh... Uh, yeah, either this is the same voice actress and they brought her back um, and that's the just how they sound or it's above. like a very specific like uh, voice direction. The monumental will explain. Um, the monumental, the monumental will explain. Would be interesting to me. So I gotta go up. Gotta go upwards. They're the same person. That helps explain a lot. Because for a minute, I was like, I was like, one of two things is happening. I was like, either this is the same person or from soft. My question to you is you are doing some highly specific voice directing. Um, so it's good, to, it's good to know that it's the same person. Um, I don't. I don't quite know where they meant for me to go, except maybe up 
up, up, all the way. Oh, I'm just bullshitting. Please don't listen to me. Hey, you're the person I had to talk to earlier about being fucking weird. Shall I repeat myself? Oh, weird. What is... Hmm. I'm older and have less patience. Your jokes aren't funny. I have no clue if this is where I'm meant to go. This place goes up an exceptional amount and it's actually starting to intimidate me. Isn't the Pantheon just where you get to see like people who completed the game? Yeah, these are all like players. Oh, look at that guy. He's burly. Burly guy. Most phantom saved. That's like a fun thing though. That's a nice way of um of the game like just telling you some cool stuff. I guess there's there's like a person or or something that I'm looking for up here though, right? First off I'm gonna grab this. Stone of ephemeral eyes, thank you. Well, also, it's text, and it seemed like you lied to us. <laughs> text doesn't translate intent entirely well. I know this because I've been on the internet for many years, and you surely have as well. So I'm not mad at you, but I am disappointed, like an older aunt. Um, boy. Do I gotta go all the way up? It's, I think I probably gotta go a bit lower down. Jeez, there's a lot going on here. Can I, can I hop over that to get to that? Weird. Like the dis- oh, well I guess this will probably get me what I want. But maybe the cutscene would have helped me. A little bit more. Now I'm just seeing if there's items. Body, upside down body. It's, it's it's certainly on one of these floors. These are just these are just corpses though. There we go. No? It's one of the people sitting there. That looks like a child! We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. That's bananas. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too were a scourge of demons face. That seems... In the distant past, under benevolent rule... If I was playtesting... Owing to the soul arts, 
I would be like until a lust no. for power caused the awakening. Oh, I of the love old ones. ones. Across the land seeped a colorless. I love the time. Fog, I love the facts. The world faced extinction of the old of the demons. Dogs. No, not dogs, gods. Thanks I said you. dogs. We were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and most of the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. Oh, these are like rings of power. One to the king of the borrowers underground. We gave one to the men and to the dwarves. One to the wise queen of the great To the wise tower. mages. One to the chieftain of the And lost to the bird people. Souls. We gave one. One to the shaman. To Kitchakana. The bird leader of Advent. And the last to the great giants. Giants! Oh, man. I love... You know what's one of my favorite things about FromSoft games? Giants. In the fringelands that survive. We contain the old one here below the nexus. They really and do. the soul arts. They From really do giants well. We became monumental. Although I know... I know Storm Ruler is in this game, but you don't use it to fight a giant. You use it to fight like a giant, a weird manta ray. Alas, the other monumentals have Yeah, it, the the two the options for a bird thing there was either Kichikana or Kalar Anna Kalar. Kichikana's the funnier one. Because it's Kichikana, the bird leader of Advent. Now it is you must love if not have you the strength. Sure, I'll accept your mission. Now. The old one. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of a couple things. Giants? But not like... Giants that are essentially just vaguely sentient trolls. Not into that. Giants with civilizations. And uh, all sorts of cool stuff. And then also old gods. Sleeping old gods. That even in their sleep, they dream and their dreams do gnarly stuff to you. But not H.P. Lovecraft's version of that, because that man was racist. But the concept. I'm into the concept. Uh, you know. It's a good concept. The fact that Elder Scrolls is just the dream of a, a dying... Oh, slash dead god? Braves. Good Braves. stuff. Hmm. What is it? Seek us down the power of souls? I also like... You know what I like about... Uh... Of course. This game in particular I so far is that... The world has a certain amount of of more arcane implications that I think Dark Souls doesn't always have. Like, but you can see where it leads from one thing to another. Like, the way that, like, the blinded eyes with the wax here clearly leads to the way that some fire keepers have their tongues cut out or whatever. Um, actually, give me two seconds. What is this scale with? I am here for thee and thee. Presumably, does, is weapon scaling a thing in these games, right? Presumably this is going to be a dex weapon, right? I would love clarification on that. So this must be dex scaling. If it's not, I would be deeply surprised. Because I'll go Dex Magic. Um, which is fine. I can't believe we messed up those friggin' those gosh darn firebombs. Yeah, Rapier's definitely Dex. And, okay, yeah. That, 
So let's let's do a couple of things. First off, yes. Um, I'm gonna do something that seems silly. I can't stand that nine being there. I need it to be a ten, or it's gonna bother me for the rest of the game. So that's why we're doing that. Uh, odd numbers can can go bite my butt. Like, why would I have uh, why would I have a nine there? Seven's fine. Seven in luck is kind of funny because you know, lucky lucky number seven, uh, s seven slot thing in Final Fantasy, all that good stuff. Okay. I got some spice, got some grass. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Um, but I guess what I'm saying here is that there's def there's like more implied like just like flat out arcane magic stuff, which is a very specific ar like type of magic, whereas Dark Souls magic is like ancient and um, and like kind of vaguely holy, like the way that gods work in that universe is like. They're clearly just like, you know, stellar descended people of majesty. I need to get my souls, by the way. It's part of the reason I'm coming back here. Whereas here it's like slumbering old ones, magic that clearly has more rules to it than, than Dark Souls magic. Or, or it feel, feels like it does. So, I'm gonna need more magic spells soon, though. Like, I'm gonna want more than just my soul arrow nonsense. Ow! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Ah! Ow! You're all still doing the thing! Son of a bitch. Not fair. Ah! It hurt. They're throwing stuff at me. What did I do to deserve that besides kill their dread phalanx lord that's presumably the congealed soul of someone important? That's how that stuff works in games like this. An ancient knight. A famous commander. Something. I need Vati to tell me who. I need to go to his channel and have him be like, Many years ago, in the land of Boletaria, the famed lord of the phalanx, Oh, oh, his, his tale of bravery is one that inspired the land for centuries until... But, I don't know. Do I have a favorite from soft title? Dark Souls 2? Probably? Although I will concede that Bloodborne is, is the best one. Bloodborne is just a miracle of game design. Um, but I think Dark Souls 2 is, um, as a narrative, as a thematic exploration of the notion of sequels unto themselves, uh, pretty cool. Oh, it's this fellow again. Oh, he's just a hapless fool.
Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is... I very much enjoy. The DLC really helps lift that game back up. But also, you know... I love the fact... So, the best moment in the series of, of any of these games, of, of the best moment in any FromSoft game, quite frankly, is when you get to the bottom of the dungeon in Drang Lake and you see Vendrick and the piano just plays and it's just this giant of a man who once commanded legions and undid a nation of giants and stole magics that were not his to possess this warrior beyond equal I was being dramatic there. This warrior beyond equal. Um, and he's just lost his mind. And he's just like walking around. This may be the best moment in the entire series. Uh, I mean that genuinely. Incredible. Super good. Um, it's hard to think of a moment in the first D Dark Souls, certainly, that reaches that level of poignancy. I don't think the first love, uh, the first Dark Souls has that narrative um, focus or thematic focus. Maybe seeing Gwyn, which is a similar moment, but the thing that that works about Gwyn is not um, as explicitly on display um, as it is with Vendrick. Uh, um, I'm sure some people would be like, my favorite uh, moment in the series is when... Oh yeah, but that's like past, that's like weird past like t time compression Vendrick. Like when you see Vendrick, like that dude is like, he's gone completely hollow. The reason you can talk to him is because you're using like the giant memory or some weird shit to talk to a version of him in the past. That game has a bunch of weird time travel memory stuff going on in it. Um, Bloodborne DLC gets really close, which is to say that, um, so that is maybe one of the best boss fights in the game. Am I gonna be able to get my souls, you think? Are these them right here? Um, Orphan of Koss is amazing. Maria, Maria of the Clock Tower, amazing. That's very good DLC. Like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Um, Jesus Christ, it's fucking terrifying. Um, uh, and then also, so it, I would say the two best bosses in this series, uh, or, uh, in these games, are um, Maria and. Um, oh, dude, if I go down here, am I gonna die? Maria and then um, Ishin, uh, Sword Saint, Sword Saint Ishin, which is just really good. I like Sekiro a lot. In retrospect, um, my opinion of Sekiro has only gotten better at, as time has gone by. Um, even though I think moment for moment, and this will sound controversial even though it shouldn't be, I enjoy playing a game like Neo 2 more than I like playing Sekiro, but um, the boss fights in Sekiro are astoundingly good. Like, just very, very, very good. Um, even, like, early stuff, like uh, like Ginichiro, like Way of Tomoe, uh, things like that. Um, dude, like, even, like, the first, like, one of the first ones, like, Yonbu, Yonbu Masutake Oniwa! Um, oh, they got me. What a, what a cool and unique challenge immediately of just like this dude's on a horse um which is fun and and i think the combat in that game is really good um 
and, and I really like that game <laughs> is my big takeaway there um, even though I will say I have to take you know I I have to go on a fucking deserted island and I can only bring one age of Japan themed souls like it's gonna be Neo um, just because that's a monumental, really good game. And the combat's more fun. Um, but some of those bosses are really good. Owl. Everything with Owl. Really good. I'm attacking these fellas both for the souls and the fact that they seem to be dropping what appear to be um, weapon upgrade materials. Neo, uh, Neo 2 which all my friends are playing right now <laughs> and i they're like you should play on pc with us and i'm like what if i just played on ps5 by myself because uh, i'm cool um, so i guess that's how i made it out with that. oh boy just i don't have the stamina for this Bloodborne's really cool, but Bloodborne plays like nothing else in the FromSoft catalog. Like Bloodborne plays like Bloodborne, and no other game has played like Bloodborne. Um, no other game has gotten it as perfect. Um, that game is incredible. Um, really well put together. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do that. Just, yeah. Really monumental game. Um, really oppressive game in some ways, by which I mean just like, oh boy, sometimes that atmosphere just wears you the fuck down. Um, some cool bosses. There were enemies here before, weren't there? Or were they later? They were here, maybe. Yeah. It's really dark. Um, trying to think though. Dark Souls 3 is my least favorite of all of them. I think that game, the meta textual stuff that it's trying to do with the Dark Souls series doesn't work. It actually ends up feeling too reverent for it to work. Um, right? It, it, it just doesn't... It doesn't work. The only time it maybe works a little is the moment you realize what's going on with the Soul of Cinder. Which is another really good moment for the series, but also, you know, like, it's kind of limited, right? The big gimmick there, the thing that makes that gimmick work is the fact that Gwyn's theme is like an instantly recognizable, like really well put together piece of music um, that, that just you can recognize with like th three, all it takes is three chords and you go, oh, fuck. Um, Right? Really good. Um, why am I having trouble locking onto these dinguses? Da -da -da. Um, but most of the moments in that game aren't good. The weird marriage ceremony thing is kind of cool. Uh... That whole plot line with some of the stuff with Yuria of Londor, very cool. But again, that's like a small piece and very missable. Um, I, and you know, actually, you know, so maybe the thing that, that you would say is, 
the big moment for Dark Souls 3, which explains both why Dark Souls 3 sometimes works and why it sometimes fails, is that um, the best moment in Dark Souls 3 is when you is are in... Um, what is it? It's Irithyll, right? And then you realize that you are... You go up and it changes and it says An Orlando. That's a well-designed moment. Um, but... Also, like, I'm curious what happens if I try and wear it. Not. My wizard, do my wizard clothes, like, give me better wizard powers, though? It's hard to tell. Because otherwise, I can just wear a, a big knight's armor and, and maybe have a little bit more defense. Right? And now I just have like a medium roll. Look at that magic knight lady. With her dumb rapier. <laughs> I look like an idiot. This looks too big for me. I look like a child in like their dad's like snow coat. Walking up to monsters. I'll harm you. Yeah, if there's magic armor later, then we're taking it. Yeah, the this, that whole section of Dark Souls 3 is very good, partially because Pontiff Sullivan is a really good boss fight. Um and if anybody's ever like, oh, I don't like Pontiff Sullivan, uh, they're wrong. Super good boss fight. Because um, that also leads up to the boss fight with uh, not Gwendolyn. Right? Which is also a really cool moment, but it it tells you something. Um, noticeable. It tells you something noticeable about Dark Souls Three that the best moments of Dark Souls Three are the moments where it actually references Dark Souls the first, right? Um, Whereas, if it was a more confident game, I would be talking about moments that exclusively belong to Dark Souls 3. But they don't. They're moments that they share with... Uh, oh. Metal Gear. Um, right, like, everything about Dark Souls 3 feeds into the memory of Dark Souls 1. Um, often in a poisonous way, which you can interpret in, in, uh, in a few different, um, like, in types of interpretation. But for me, I find that game is far too, re like, reverential to the material that came before but more specifically just to the first Dark Souls. It absolutely does not care for the second Dark Souls. There's like a handful of references. I, I wish that game had more of an identity unto itself. Um, like the DLC gets there, even though Ashes of Ariandel is just like not great level design. Hey, hi. Good day to you. Mostly stolen, but What's up, my dude? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, we're gonna buy some grass, man.
I'm just gonna burn through a, a shit ton of souls right now. Brave knight or lowly fodder. The demons Fire bombs are tempting. Would have helped us earlier. Of their station, plummeting them all into madness. And those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down. It is the end of Greek Boletaria as we know so, But like, so I've, but, but I've played enough of these games that I see the things battle. that these become. So this guy clearly becomes, like, this is the foundation for Grey Wrath of the Undead Settlement, right? Like, it's the same deal. Can he come back to my base? All right. The big, uh, the king, that monster, unless you're a scout. It is the end. But hell, that monster, unless you're a scout. But he definitely, um, like, this is, like, that sort of thing. Of, but, but he's also, he's also, like, the basket merchant in Undead Settlement, right? But all of those things are connected under the same sort of um, weird character, like, genetic phenotype that exists within um, FromSoft games. Oh, this is... Ah! 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 That dragon seems... Like a lot to deal with. That's a lot, buddy. We gotta go for it, though, right? This is... Don't you dare! There's so many dudes there! I, re I was like, I need to heal before I go in! Oh, that's a very Dark Souls moment. You don't get that in many other game franchises. That's very funny to me. It, well, it shan't take me but just a, a few moments to get back to where I was. Uh, do not fret. I'm not going to fight these, these dinguses, though. I am a little perplexed about where all those soldiers came from, but, you know. Whatever. I got down there and I was like, oh, my health is low. I'll, f I'll fix that. Like a good gamer. Yo, I'm trying to bait them out. Are you coming for it? Hell yeah, dude. There he goes. Um... try and go this way can I get him to burn stuff yeah that will at least help me because I'll just go around again right because what happened we ended up what was what is happening with this spear fellow What is up with him? When did he suddenly become king of uh, jack shit castle? What the every level fuck is happening? Go away? Thank you. Do I have to run again? You think? It's a long distance to run. 
Doesn't seem possible, friends. We gotta go down below. Like that game. Minecraft. Oh, that means there's gonna be all the dogs. You know, that thing that most gamers should feel terrible about murdering. I'm not looking forward to this. It's gonna be a lot of dogs that I'm gonna have to stamp. That was way too early. I was like, I can parry this person. I'm great at games, but historically tonight has proven that that's a questionable claim at the bare minimum. Oh, so many dogs! Dogs? Stop. Jeez. Just a... Yeah, just a... Big amount of dogs. A, a significant size of dogs. I am. Hmm. Well, first off, let's do the responsible thing here. Let's please organize our grass a little. Thank you. Throwing knives. No thank you. And we'll just eat one of these half moon grasses. Which, you know, that's great. Look at my big armor. I was like kind of a, a cute gal. And now I'm just somebody who watched the 1990s version of, of Berserk. That's, that's the theme song. My ex liked that show. I, I make fun of it and that seems mean. Um, and I shouldn't make fun of it because she was a very good, uh, very good human being. Um, we didn't make it far watching that one, though. We watched a lot of Azamanga Gayo, which is like, hmm. Two very different things. Because if you're gonna date someone, you need to date somebody with eclectic taste. You need to date somebody who doesn't just like one thing. We need to enjoy a variety of cool experiences. Like bloody, like bloody murder and then slice of life uh, girl comedy. Azamanga. That cat uh, in, in Azamanga Dio is the best fucking thing on the planet, maybe? Hey, I got a bow. That's great. And then there's another smaller cat that stands up to it, like, fuck you, other cat. I love it. Oh, they're all there, dude, what? That's excessive. They all have, like, bows and arrows and stuff. I don't care much for this situation. This is why going to Hogwarts was a good idea. The one that scared Junji Ito? Yes, the one that scared Junji Ito. Quick, everybody. Name your favorite Junji Ito story. I don't know. There's lots of good, there's lots of good ones. The face burger. I don't know. 
There's like a lot of good ones. Just like good stories that that fella has done. Am I fighting this dragon now? Is that what's going on here? Whoa, 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 okay. Hi. I'm on the graveyard with the muscle ghost in it. What about the one with the, like, the weird balloons that friggin' uh, kill everybody in the town? Or whatever, that's good. Is it too normy to say Amigara Fault? No, it's good. That's a good, good story. I feel like I'm gonna die if I go this way. Do I gotta bait it out? Or are we good? Yeah, I was like, we gotta bait that out. Oh my god. Oh my fucking lord. Oh no. One hit! One hit from a blue eye! Night! And it murdered me! It hurt so much. Yeah, most people, if you don't know Junji Ito's other stuff, most people know uh, Amigara Fault, at least. Um, partially just because of that, the meme image of the, <laughs> of this hole! was made for me. But also, once you realize what's going on inside those holes and, ha and what happens as you're sliding down one of them, fucking gross. But good for you, Jinji Ito. You, you wrote a classic horror story. I couldn't do that. I don't have a horror writer's heart. That blue eye knight killed me in what? really did feel like a single strike. Just one... One solid stab to, to my To my face. So what we're gonna do is, is a couple things is we're actually gonna probably get out of soul form. Dragon. Dragon, arise! Oh, please don't kill me. He's so disappointed. Ah! Spear! Spear, 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 spear. are not hard necessarily it's just that that one uh, hit me in the face really hard and like killed me instantly otherwise it's like you know I can roll with it I can I can mostly I can mostly as the kids say cope you know what I'm saying mostly 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 do that <laughs> And look, I've done games where the punishment for dying is actually worse than this. Because the punishment for dying multiple times in Dark Souls 2 is friggin' worse than what's going on in this game, which is just a flat health reduction. Right? Does dying in soul form in this repeatedly lower your health? Because going hollow in um, Dark Souls 2 certainly did and made, made each death just a, a real costly thing. I'm trying to trigger as few of the dogs as possible. Dogs! I was like, those dogs might kill me. Yeah, that's right, world tendency. I do know of that. My world tendency looks whitish from that right there. 
Dark Souls 2's health di reduction did cap out at a point eventually, but it was a fucking low point. Um, dying repeatedly in that game was really not great. Too many dogs. Just even making a reference to Too Many Cooks made me think of WandaVision, which is like, I'm watching it, and you know what? It's fine. I, I much prefer... I said that funny. Oh, I much prefer... I much prefer kind of what's going on in that than I did to, like, Endgame. Or whatever. Um, I saw Avengers Endgame on a business trip to San Francisco the night before I went to go see um, the media tour stuff on Shadowbringers, actually. Which was, like, really, really fun. Because that was when I got to first see Dancer and Gunbreaker. Um... One Division has some cool moments in it so far. I like how it's mostly a show about like grief, but I also don't have high expectations for like Marvel or Disney or anything right now anymore, right? Like, why would I? Um... Like, The Mandalorian is okay, but it's like. Mm. Some people go in for the Mandalorian way harder than they maybe should. Um, when I think the thing that they're actually going in for is Pedro Pascal. Right. Like, like Narcos is like some ridiculous kind of uh, problematic stuff. But you can you can watch it for, for for great actors, including our friend Mr. Pedro Pascal, who I guess is Joel in The Last of Us. So congrats to you, buddy. Um, it seems weird to me, sort of. That that show is just... Uh, lock on. Lock on, you failed me. This is why I died to the not asylum demon before. Um, it seems really weird that it's just gonna be the game or like a version of that story and not... I feel like you could do a lot of, a lot more stuff. Ah, oh, the dogs, the dogs, there's so many of the dogs. So many dogs, so many dogs, so many dogs. I'm making less progress now. And yeah, it's he's playing Joel and then the girl who played um, the young Mormont heir child in Game of Thrones is Ellie. The one who is like, you left as king of the north and now you come back after bending to a foreign queen. I don't know what you are. And you're like, ah, child. It is two Game of Thrones people. Oh, gosh. You know what? Game of Thrones, not a, not a, you know, I liked, I think when that was first coming out, I was in college, so it was like a really fun conversation piece. But boy, do I remember the night of, uh, of that duel between uh, the Viper and the Mountain and uh, some fun internet reactions that day. He was 
Like he really played up the raw charisma on that uh, on that part in that role, um, and it's maybe one of the highlights of the of the show is just him playing playing that character. It's a really solid stuff. A line, a line I really like in that. Is when he's talking to Tyrion. It's funny that I remember these things in like small lines or whatever. It's the line delivery that I remember. And I remember these things because... and it so, This sounds arrogant. I don't mean it to be. I remember these things because I, I'm a theater major. So when I come across acting that I find really remarkable or a line or delivery that I find remarkable it tends to stay with me a lot the same way that I can remember like really well delivered um, stuff from other people on stage ah! there's one he goes uh, said that's not a monster that's just a baby. And you're like, yeah, dude. Good for you. So far, that's worked out for me way more than the magic. Also, nearly falling off that cliff right there. Not my favorite situation I've ever been in. In fact, I'm going to say... I really didn't like it. Magic! I do like the magic in this game. It feels really good. Uh, which is a entirely nebulous and meaningless concept that nevertheless, I will sit here and go, the magic feels really good in Demon's Souls for the PlayStation 5. Uh, we give it a nine out of ten or whatever I don't trust having these archers up here stab 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 I did it oh boy that whole bridge situation up ahead. Friends, I'm not looking forward to it. Neither am I looking forward to this situation with all these goobers. Ha! Fuck you! Fuck you! Magic! Nailed it. We should still have a stone of ephemera. Is the stream getting choppy? It looked choppy for me for a second. That was really weird. That's no good. I still my magic equipped. Yeah, it was dropping some frames there for a minute. I don't know why. Oh my god. Is this really... I, I really gotta... Well, actually, I don't. I don't really gotta yet. What I gotta do is... is health it up. And get ready. He didn't do it. Dragon fire. Da 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 king. He's Dova King. Dova King. Oh, 
Oh boy. Hey, this was the fucking night. Kill me right away! Oh, there's two of them. It's the two of them together. My voice was weird there. I sounded like a character from... Uh, that I like from Shenmue named Yamagashi-san. Who I've quoted before because he goes, Your father and I used to drink sake together. And then he teaches Ryo, he goes, I'll teach you the double blow. You're like, yeah, man. Teach me that. I, you're just an old dude who lives like down the street. I, what do you know about martial arts? And he's like, I used to train with your father. We would drink sake together. Fuck you! The dock worker. Uh huh! And Shen and Shenmue too. We're putting it! Down. And then he shifts in the mini game and he goes, Ugh! Shenmue games, very good. I saw a review uh, uh, from a YouTuber whose content that I like and who were both mutuals on Twitter. We, we very much, I think, respect each other's work. And they were like, they were very down on Shenmue 3. And I gotta say, Shenmue 3 was basically what I expected. Um, you know, so it, it was fine. Like, I, if anybody was like, I cannot believe they did not end the saga of Ryo Hazuki and have him kill Landi right there. I'm like, that's never going to happen. I'm sorry. We're all going to be dead before Yu Suzuki finishes any of this. That's just life. I'm 30. Ish. And Yu Suzuki is, is is getting older. And he's never gonna be like I have successfully finished my massive epic. It's just not gonna happen. I've made peace with that. The same way that I'm sure my friend Tim Rogers, or someone else has made my peace with that. We say to each other, it's not gonna happen. We go, that's okay. And we kind of nod at each other. Yu Suzuki, uh, for me personally, and my video game sensibilities, I think, probably had a greater effect on um, my personal aesthetics than someone like Shigeru Miyamoto, even though it's not a contest, right? Um, but what, which is to say that um, I have a a real deep respect for the way that um, Yu Suzuki saw uh, arcades as these spaces where you could um, just do a whole lot of stuff, right? Like, um, and that sensibility carried through, I think, to a lot of Sega's games in general in a way that I find um, uh, 
helps to explain the things that I really value about games. Um, which is to say, they are two different visions of playfulness. Um, neither of which is inherently... rolled into it uh every moment feels like i'm making progress and then it turns out i'm rolling into a stab we'll keep going i've watched people worse at these games make progress so i can you know is there no, is there some secret passage that leads me to the door or, or is really the level design that I need to bum rush three archers and two knights while a dragon is chasing me? Because I'm okay with that. Because repetition is, I think, relaxing. Um, even repetition that comes out of the result of failure. But if anybody's like, actually, Heather, what you should do is you should go down this path here so that you don't have to deal with the archers every time or something. You know, that, that's a, that'd be nice to know. In my dream world, I'm, I'm baiting enemies into... You know, all sorts of places. <laughs> you talk funny, Nash. Where are you from? Lots of different places. That's from the movie Highlander? The Highlander. Uh, if you haven't seen that, then you're a child. But um, what I was talking about by visions of... Uh, playfulness uh, when I talk about Yu Suzuki and then compare to Shigeru Miyamoto is that I think Yu Suzuki is interested in these very tactile things um, and and f using games uh, partly to replicate actual like partly to repli replicate like actual spaces or actual experiences so hang on the fantasy of riding a motorcycle, right? Um, Shenmue. The fantasy of glo a, a globe-trotting trip. Um, which are things with more readily available um, touchstones? But then those touchstones are are um, played with in certain ways. Whereas I think uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's approach to fun is like almost purely just sentiment, um, right? Where Clearly, everybody knows the story. You know, the Legend of Zelda was inspired. He's, you know, he's going into caves as a child or whatever. Um, but the thing about the Legend of Zelda is not that it's replicating the experience of diving into a cave. It's replicating the childhood mind state of what a cave is as like a possibility space. Um, and those are two both very valid forms of fun. One of which is to take something with a lot of touchstones and make it very tangible, which is what Yu Suzuki does. And then the other is to um, make it very sentimental, which is what Miyamoto does. Um, if I have to sit here and write some sort of weird game thesis, that, that's how I would explain it. Um, one is worldly. This will sound like a bullshit way of explaining it. 
Uh, one, one, one is worldly and the other is like otherworldly, right? Like one is um, making experiences. with um, one foot in the real world and one is making experiences with feelings that arise from the real world but give way to um, purely imagined spaces. Um, right? Where am I going? The land of Hyrule. Uh, but if you ask Yu Suzuki, where are you going? He'll say, you're going to Kowloon. Um, and, bo and both can be equally um, exciting and, and fun to explore and intimidating um, and, and all sorts of stuff, right? Um, but that's the, that's the answer. It's like, where are you going? The Mushroom Kingdom. Would love to know Trance Gamer's thoughts on this. Uh, if you're asking me about wings or gameplay stuff for this game, I don't know, dude. I've never played Demon Souls. I can't help you. Uh, this is my first time really playing through. So if you're like, hmm, where are my items go? Or how do I do this character quest line? The answer is, uh, uh, frankly, buddy, and I mean this in a, in a kind way, I, I have no fucking clue. No idea. Sorry. Oh my god, are they gonna kill me? They're gonna kill me again. That was the closest we got. Oh, that might be the way to do it. Yeah, that I think that's the way. That's the way. And then that just leaves room for me to repost and stab them. The thing about Blue Eye Knight and Red Eye Knight AI is that they actually have an attack that they specifically do when you try and heal. They charge you. Um, so you can bait that out, but it's weird. Because I was able to bait it out a couple times with the Red Eye Knight. Because um, I wanted to do that to leave them vulnerable to magic. Didn't quite work. That was really cool. <laughs> what happened to the wood there? Um, but now that I know that the dragon's not going to burn uh, crispy poos entirely there then we the thing that needs to go away is the, arch is the archers <laughs> they, they, they just cannot be there um, not because I think they are threatening uh, but because they take up space um, and it turns out one of the things that matters the most in uh, a FromSoft game is space. It's just raw, unadulterated. Space. Like, if there's like nine dudes, the thing that's not scary is the fact that there's nine dudes. It's the fact that the hallway is like... There's too many people in the hallway. Right. And if I have space, I can, like, backstab or do all these other things. But if there's, like, a bunch of archers there, I can't do much because they're just, they're in my way. That's going to trigger a dog. This will trigger a dog. Dog aggro ranges are weird. I, in fact, think some of those dogs aren't actually in the game world in, in, in the way that some other entities are in the game world. But maybe the folks on Boundary Break will prove that theory wrong. Because it is just a theory, a game theory. Is Sans actually Ness from Earthbound? 
It's just a theory. A game theory. All right. I feel like a single firebomb would like end those two. Like end of those archers there. Thanks for that. If I just ran up firebombed and then I was like, what's up? Pretty exciting. Um, this is a weird section of the game. This is presumably where the game wants me to go because it's the most readily accessible area of the game right after they're like, you have arch stones. So I'm gonna do it because I've already been chilling in Boletaria. But the fact that it is ultimately, um, such a, such a bananas thing, uh, uh, uh compared to maybe other places is a lot. I can't believe that that asshole can actually hit me through those. That's that's next gen. Right, right. And the thing we need to immediately prepare for is that I'm gonna need to heal fast. Uh, so that's what this is this whole situation is gonna be about. Uh, okay. So, what had happened was dragon, me running, dramatically, like a hero. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. What? What the living shit was that? Mm, I did the thing. I did the thing. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done the thing. I shouldn't have tried to heal. I should have just tried to parry again. That is progress. That is also weird and a waste of grass, but it is progress. Oh, I hate. Oh. You know what? Done with them. Done with them professionally. That's a that's a reference to a thing that not as many people remember anymore. That's Christian Bale on the set of Terminator's uh, Salvation. That happens one more time, you and me, we're done professionally. I bet you that they were probably just done professionally after that anyway. Yeah, that was in the lighting guy. When he was yelling at the lighting guy. You and me, we're done professionally. You're like, okay, Christian Bale, like, I, I guess. These things happen. Perhaps. Well. Here's the secret. Terminator Salvation is one of the few movies that I've walked out of a movie theater and not seen. I I have a a sick and perverse uh, pride in the fact that I have um, completed pretty much every game I've played. Not Watch Dogs, and also watched most, like, there's very few things I've engaged with that I've been like, I'm done. Um, 
Terminator Salvation was one of them. I was with my friends and we were all like, is anyone enjoying themselves? And the answer was, no one was enjoying themselves. Dogs! Dogs! Dogs fucking... I hate this entire section of the game. It's too much. It's too much, Sam. I can't carry it. I can't carry it for you, Mr. Frodo. You're like... Man, this movie's gone on a long time. And then he goes, but I can carry you. And you're like, ah. Elijah Wood. There's an Alan Tudyk alien show. Is he an alien in it? Or is he like a normal dude? Cause he could do both. He's got the range. I say of famed character actor Alan Tudyk. You know what? I think that guy has the range. He's an alien pretending to be a doctor. I'm down for it. Great. Good for him. situation is unbearably fucked. I have to kill two of those things right now. Want nothing to do with it. I didn't sign up for this shit. A monster killed me and then everybody was like, you should go take care of the old ones. And I was like, I guess? I suppose I will do that? I didn't know I was signing up for this sort of nonsense. Oh, I am gonna... I'm gonna get blown up. Destroy. Okay, asshole. <laughs> Fuck you. Cool. All right. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Gonna, he's going to do the stab, and then we're going to do normal. Ah, he hurts so much. Magic! There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Is this a boss fight now? I will lose my brain. This is a boss run. Door. It appears to be locked. To double check some items and, and souls and a couple other things. Oh, somebody mentioned it in chat. Well, I also first just wanted to see what the fuck was in that room. In case, like, I turned around and something was chasing me down the hallway. I wouldn't be pleased. Uh, 
Uh. Uh? I feel like this is a thing I can use. And if not, I wish it was a thing I could use. Ha! The first level taught me that I can use that type of shit. Oh, that was scary right there. A little ghost fella. There's a blood stain here. Archers. Wow, the archer class really is made up of archers. It's the dumbest reference I've ever known. It's like maybe two of you are going to be like, got it. Thank you for the Fate Stay Night reference, Heather. You know that there are people in this game who have made, like, weird... stuff. Like, running around as Archer. Making a well, probably not AMVs, but there's probably at least somebody who's been like, I am the bone of my sword. And you're like, hey, how's that working out? Is there, a, so before I proceed, do I gotta, do I gotta go? Was there anything else up there I should have done? Oh, I've never summoned anyone in this game yet. Yeah, bud. Yo. Let's go. Is this one of those things too where I shake the controller and it makes a... A thing? I thought I summoned. Oh, I did. Hue blue too. Hello, hello. We are both gonna fucking die. Oh, Tower Knight. Okay. I don't know anything about the fights in this game. Oh, look at the, uh, the weird executioner. Uh, I'm the executioner. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna kill. Uh, uh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Uh, uh. Magic. Hue Blue. Hue Blue, where do we go? Oh, fuck. He's gonna kill Hue Blue. Get up there! Heal blue! Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I didn't, I didn't realize I was summoning a phantom for a boss fight. Oh! Oh, that item there is a trap. Okay. So wait, now what? Am I gonna have to bait out this this dude's attention? Well, well, my butt attacks because he can't hit me here. Oh boy! Da, 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 da. I hit you with your magic. Bad. Is my bud dead? Oh! 
Oh, fucking what? Um, terrifying. Turn him around, buddy. I'm gonna move. My bud's gonna get killed, probably. Item! Moongrass! So far, all the bosses in this game have been tanky. Magic. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna turn around. Oh, I knocked him over. I can, I can survive this drop. Ha! What if I didn't? Heartbreaking. Hello. Archstone. Well, to be fair, I can't return during multiplayer. Oh, I was like, that, I was like, is he leaving? Like he better be leaving. Be like, get out of here. Our approach was good. Divide and conquer. I usually don't summon for boss fights. I feel kind of guilty about doing that. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. I can forge weapons for you. I can forge weapons for you. Rapier plus two. I should probably repair the rapier. Do I need to? I mean, everything seems to be in order so far. Do come back alive. Where are you, fair maiden? Hey, it's the dude. It's the guy. I'm gonna mute myself as I sneeze, hold on. Friends, I sneezed so hard that uh this guy Life. felt it uh, Volatari king his knights and his subjects were modest and plain but also steadfast and compassionate i have spent much time in my studies in the cultured countries it's weird South, that we're getting yet no country holds my heart as frame Volatari. rate issues Look at what has become of us now. We're gonna have to diagnose. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Why that is? It's weird that we're getting. I don't know. Where is? Where is the gal? Over here. 
thou seekest the power of the soul, no? That's just on the stream, so... The frame rate is real bad. I know, buddy. Trust me. Lol, slow down. Dude, I know. I don't know what's causing it. Something just caused it. I'll have to look into some settings. Not sure what uh, those settings will be. I switched over to um, Streamlabs and stuff, so maybe that can be some of it. But if I just really like pumped a ton into my decks, but that seems bad. I should at least pump it a little bit. Um. Yeah. Art thou finished? And I guess the next question will be strength help the world be magic. Ended. I just need need uh, different sorts of magic. Valley of defilement. Sure. I don't know how much longer we'll stream. That almost felt like a really good place to end it. Hard to say. Someone tagged me for something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is this is like your blight town, except not quite. Ah, scared me. Scared myself. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I know how to diagnose and fix my own fucking stream, guys. I appreciate your help and your concern. I will figure it out when I'm not streaming. I hate the fact that sometimes when I'm on stream, I have to just politely be like, hey y'all, oh. Just like, trust me to be a professional human being. I was looking at chat for most of that. I can barely even see what hit me. Whether that's people who are like, I was just lying or, or People who are like trying to, like, I will solve my problems. <laughs> I'm a grown adult. I am almost certainly, I'm guessing, older than many of you. And I've almost certainly done this, no offense, I'll pull this card out, longer professionally than you have. So just trust me. Give me a little bit of a... Uh, ah! Give me a little bit of faith. You know? I did not expect to get tossed that far forward. Well, it did not feel like I climbed up that high. Ooh. That's a little devious right there. It's a different sort of... troublesome nonsense. Three hits of magic for these bird dudes. That's more. Mm 
more than I was expecting. I wonder... <laughs> wonder if I could do something stupid like stream my Dissidia Opera Opera Omnia Lufenia <laughs> attempts when those other thing. People might not be happy about that though. But I really do enjoy that game. That's surely an enemy. Whoa! What a powerful attack! Two bird dudes. Ah! Ah! I can't believe that roll went that far. That's hysterical. I was like, well, what if I just rolled? Surely, surely then I would be totally fine. And I would land on the platform and I would get... Some type of worthwhile item. I failed to do so. And now I am Bobo the Clown. I mean, my damage on that will scale as my int goes up, but also I'm already craving new spells, you know? I'm already sitting here like, I want fireballs, I want uh, magical enchantments on my swords, I want all sorts of things. Uh, uh, well, this seems like I'm in something of a pickle. So I roll down and land on that. Is there a pathway through here? I destroy these things. There we go, yeah. I was like, I should hope so. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get writing done tonight. I did that Valentine's challenge and um, oh, oh no. Um, and it really invigorated me with a lot of energy for writing, but sometimes just like doing something different or seeing a world from another character's perspective for a little bit, like really invigorates you a lot. And I have that. And then today I was just like intensely exhausted. And then, well, this is clearly the better way to get to what I wanted to get. This is a person? Okay. I'm just paranoid enough to be like, oh, what if I, well, no, the rapier is, I've already been upgrading it, but what if I had like a morning star? I was strong enough to have a morning star in magic. That's hardcore. It's badass. Instead, I have armor that's too big for me. Magic spells of, uh, well, one magic spell of questionable potency. And then a rapier that, uh, yes, can harm enemies. Oh, I accidentally have the thing equipped. But also, you know, maybe not. Oh, I've made a mistake. No, I can still drop here and survive if I land on this bridge, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. 
No, that was basically instant death. That's a shame. I guess that's just going to be a thing in this area where you go like, that's a, that's a platform I can go on. And the game's like, yes, but also, you dipshit, you moron. Why would you? Screaming stones. That was a reference to a Ninja Turtles song. Skipping stones. Look it up. It's from the Ninja Turtles coming out of their shell tour. It is an actual thing that happened where there was a stage show of the Ninja Turtles and uh, Splinter sings a song. Uh, I, I don't know why it's about skipping stones. But it is about, like, mind, your mind, and stillness, and ninja stuff. And it is skipping stones. Please look forward to it. Friends, I got my alt through Castrum Lacus Latore in Final Fantasy XIV today, for those who care. And the only reason I bring it up is because... Uh, if you were like, man, why would I do Castrum anymore? The rewards kind of suck. Um, I would say to you, uh, I got 100 Bajdan coins from doing that. So, uh, they buffed it a lot, and you can get stuff for your relic weapons right now. So that was like a super good time to, to do that stuff. So. Ah! Ah! Oh, they're like, they're kind of scary. There, oh, there's many of them. There's multiple. There's multiple of them. Just chilling there. Yeah, it got very much better. You also get metal from it now, which is like, there was no excuse for you not to get metal from it before, so. Very good. Um, so I would recommend if you are like, if you have alts and you want to get them on the relic grind, go do it now. If you just want to get them through Basha for whatever reason, do it now. Um, I am a player with many alts. Many of them are for storytelling purposes. Um, but a, a handful of them are for content. I have a damage character and a healing character. Magic. Earth. Wind. Water. Whatever the fuck I got. Many years ago... Oh, there's gotta be a way to get that cool stuff! I want it! Yeah, a hundred coins, because we saved all the hostages. It was awesome. Ah! Trap! Ah! Asshole trap! Evil! Evil trap! This- this game doesn't really do, like... save location things the same way that other games do. It's not like it's made like bonfires or whatever. Like so my immediate thing like my immediate thing here is like I wanna proceed, but it's like do I wanna keep on going and do the boss? Like maybe. But if I die right now it's like I'm gonna be starting. 
Ah! Oh, God. From the start. So maybe that's it. Yeah, so maybe that's it for the evening. Um, partly because we know the stream is having some... Um, uh, some uh, pre presumably upstream uh, bitrate problems. So... I think that's maybe where we'll call it. Two bosses isn't bad, considering I don't know this game, like, at all. Just have, like, no real working familiarity with it. Um, we switched over to a new program, so I think that is probably... There's probably some defaults there that I can uh, swap around and fix. But other than that, uh, thank you for coming to the stream. This I'll probably put this on YouTube, I don't know. There were a couple of moments where I was grumpy. It's quarantine. So, you know. We're going to get back to streaming Skies of Arcadia Legends as well. Um, as I continue to write uh, to the horizon. Um, I would like to have a new chapter of that. Let me, what's, the cal what's the calendar look like? Uh, before the end of the month, which means like a week and a half... Which I think is doable, so. Uh, there might be a stream where we do Skies of Arcadia for like two hours or something. Um, this is fun. Uh, Demon Souls is fun. Uh, I will see you around. Uh, goodbye. I also, there might be a time where I try and stream um, our Delubrum uh, Regine Reginum um, Savage Prague but you won't hear um you won't hear the calms that i hear uh it'll just be my voice uh but but maybe i'll do it, it depends um we'll see i don't want i won't i don't want that to affect my frame rate and have me like miss an aoe or something so whatever uh take it easy folks goodbye <laughs>